Hi, I'm Laura Ashley Live Art, and I love chandeliers. Uh, in my house, we have a rule. For every deer head that gets hung on the wall, I get to hang a chandelier. So, I'll take you around and show you later. But, today I'm drinking J.B. Raider's Honey Crisp Apple Moonshine. And it's good. Oh, I didn't spill it all over the place. Oh, Lord. This week, I'm really excited for a blue jean and boots at Richard Petty's place. I got my blue jean and boots outfit. What do you think? Alexis, do you like it? You think they'll kick me out because it's not technically blue jeans? <laughs> it's on brand. Is it on brand? Yeah. So, this is it. Last year, Richard Petty gave away his belt, but I really hope this year he'll sign my bedazzled belt and then give it away and raise some more money. Of course, blue jean and boots, that... It's a fundraiser, so we're trying to raise a lot of money and help all our local community and local charities, and um, I think a lot of it goes to the Victory Junction, goes to Petty Family Foundation, and then other local charities. So, Blue Jean and Boots, look it up, buy tickets. I'm really excited about it, and all my buddies are coming in town for it. So, Moonshiners, some other undisclosed people, yeah? <laughs> So today I've got a couple, um, a few two cents for you about business and all that, like we like to share with you guys. Um, one, should I start my own business and be my own boss? Um, there's a couple of things you need to think about before you, you decide to start your own business. Um, you need to think about if you, one, do you love what you do? Okay. Is it something that you even on the off days, on the bad days, are you going to still enjoy doing it? Um, two, are you an expert at it? Or do you need to learn it? If you have to learn your craft that you're trying to turn into a business, you're going to be 10 steps behind. Because when you start your business, you're going to have to learn a bunch of things that you're not ready to learn. Okay, so with me, I'm an artist. If you know anything about me, I have an art degree from UNCW, studio art degree. I taught art for five years. I've owned a business for 10 years, and then I started this Laura Ashley Live Art business. I love art history, and I'm, I'm pretty much an expert in art. I know the fundamentals. I can draw anything. I can pick up anything, and I can create most things with, there's some exceptions to the rule. In the past year, I haven't had to learn art. I've had to learn other aspects of my business. Marketing, financials, taxes, the legal part, the um, how to even speak in front of a camera, this and that. If you're not the expert of your field, then you're going to be 10 steps behind your competitors. So think about that first. Do I love what I do? Am I pretty good at what I do? Am I the best at what I do? Am I the only one at what I do? That's a perk. If you're the only one in your area that does what you do, then you'll be successful as long as you're willing to learn, progress, and be committed to it. Um, so think about stuff like that. Should I start my own business? Okay. Do you have a lot of money to put into your business? If you don't have a lot of money, do you have a lot of time? Now, granted, time and money equals the same thing, you know, but you can still put a lot of time if you don't have a lot of money. A couple things. Um, and then... I guess you need to really evaluate if you're, you know, the expert in your field. I think that's about it, pretty much. Because a lot of my other questions, it's like all around the same stuff. You know, you just need to evaluate, do I really want to do this? Or do I just think this would be a cool hobby and it'd be fun to do on the side? If you think that you don't really want to commit, let it be a hobby. Let it be fun and enjoy it and keep it that way. You know, but if you want to dive in, dive in. You know, I'm a fan of being, of diving in. I think that's it for today. Like, subscribe, follow Laura Ashley Live Art on Instagram and Facebook, and now on Like to Know It. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you soon.